So just to give you some perspective, uh, this is the mobile RTX mainboard. And here, it's actually smaller than the CPU and the chipset on our standard desktop motherboard. With the darkest of nights drawing near, our demand for voltage will increase again this December as the market buys another million computer systems. One company that's working hard to reverse this trend is VIA. Originally famous for their chipsets like the KT133, 266 and 880, they're now pushing consumers toward low-powered green systems. As shoppers pack the glittering streets of London to buy last-minute presents, we managed to get an exclusive interview with VIA's global VP for marketing, Richard Brown. VIA, what we specialise in is very low-power x86 processor platforms. That is for um, green PCs and also for ultra-mobile devices and for notebooks. We've been in the business nearly 20 years now and uh, we began doing chipsets and for many years we were one of the top chipset players in, in, in the world and in the last five years we focused more on our building up our CPU business. This is a serious business with global reach. Does VIA have the engineering capability to create all of the core logic within a system? Yes, we have everything from the CPU to the core logic chipset and the graphics and the audio. Five years ago, when we first started promoting our CPUs and we started talking about low power, people go, oh, very interesting, and then what's the megahertz? Then now, I think, particularly the last couple of years, this has been a huge change in people's thinking. I think people are more concerned about environmental issues. They're also very concerned about cost and about climate change and these kind of things. And now, actually, if customers complain, it's the power's not low enough for them. So I think that's a huge change in the overall uh, psychology of the market. When we discussed power draw, Richard spoke as if VIA have a clear advantage over its competitors in this area. I think increasingly people are getting more and more mobile and so battery life is becoming a much more important issue than before. And particularly when you're carrying around a small devices, what, what you need is something that's going to last a whole day. So for example here on this OQO, which is based on the VSC7 processor, this I can use pretty much for the whole day. If you think about it, this is a very, very small device. It's powered by an x86 CPU runs a full set of multimedia and internet applications, yet we can still hit that kind of battery life within this form factor. You can use this for presentations, and it's great for small meetings during the day and also for taking notes. As we move towards convergence, creating and giving presentations covers just one aspect of a technologist's life. We asked Richard if these VIA-powered devices offer a full range of connectivity options, including HDMI for films. Yes, we do. I mean, there's one USB um, 2.0 slot and there's also HDMI. There's also an adapter you can have, for example, when you want to hook up to a, a networking cable. Of course, this has also got wireless support. So there's, there's also a wonderful docking station where you've got a DVD as well if you want to install software or run movies and things like that. So yes, there's full connectivity even though you've got a very small form factor. Is it fair to say that, apart from high-end gaming, this device is fully functional? I agree. I mean, apart from very, very high-end gaming, uh, actually we've had people who've run World of Warcraft and had fun on this, although we wouldn't say it's, it's the perfect experience, but certainly for mobile it's fine. So yes, it's a full performance PC, but a pocket size, and it's the smallest Windows Vista PC available on the market. It comes as no surprise that Far East companies are driving innovation in the ultra-mobile PC market using VIA technologies. Alongside the OQO, Richard showed us a great new product from Korean-based Wibrain. Critical things, I think, always with kind of device is the keyboard input. So OKO, okay, they've got a very, very nice thumb keyboard here that I really enjoy using. But um, perhaps as someone who needs a slightly bigger solution, is um, this is from a company called Wibrain, um, which is based in Korea and has just introduced this particular device um, called the Wibrain V2. And what they've done is split the keyboard. So you've got your mouse here, you've got a touchpad here that enables you to manipulate the mouse very, very easily. You've got very, very nice keys that you can use to input text on. Then there's also additional navigation keys for getting around the device. As VIA continue to drive power requirements down to even lower levels on mainboards that are no bigger than a credit card, you have to wonder just how many UMPCs Santa will be delivering next Christmas. One thing is certain, if only a fraction of our new systems are based on this kind of technology, then the UK's current demand for voltage would see a significant drop.